Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my two weeks one palette which were the True First Chocolate Bar. I will be honest, I haven't used it much. I've used it two, three times maybe. I don't think I have any pictures but I have kind of recreated what I've already done a like a panning look on when I panned it last year. And that is also why I have so much progress on my palette. I haven't had time to film this video and it sounds stupid but I just started my new job and it takes really, really <laughs> much of my energy and I'm and I wanted to film the videos that was most important to me and this project unfortunately was not on the high priority list, you know. This is how my palette is looking like. I have just rolled this into the Roulette Pan Collab. I don't know if you can see any difference, but spoiler if you can. I have been using it um, a few times. I have it on my eyelid right now. Um, it is a Frank shadow from these three here. But yes, I'm ready to do something else um, with a new palette at least. I have thought about ending this because I really want to focus on my single ladies and my man mat. And I have also played with the thought about starting a panda palette but I'm going to be a part of the Fantastic Ladies panda palette next year. I don't want to start anything that I can't finish the next few months. I have this urge to play around with my collection more because I really don't. I really try to focus on my on the shadows that I'm panning in projects and therefore these two weeks one palette is not that effective can you say that? For me, because I don't really use them because I try to focus on the other shadows. So I have thought about doing like a weekly or bi-weekly uh, palette bingo on a random palette in my collection. And then I can... It's like a combined se series of this. Because I randomize a palette uh, every other week. And then I try to use it more in those two weeks. So I thought about the palette palette bingo where I choose the palette with you guys in the video and then create a look based on the random shadows that I get. I hope that makes sense but let me know if you want that instead. I'm going to randomize a new palette for the next two weeks and then you can tell me your feedback if you like this series and if you want to watch palette bingos. I know they are quite popular on my channel so I thought it was a good thing to play around with my collection in that way. Let me know what you think. So for the past three weeks or something, maybe four weeks even, I have mainly used Salted Camel, Muscle Pan, Semi Sweet, and that one, Milk Chocolate, and my Fang Shadow of course, and then Triple Fudge a little bit. So those are the shadows that I have been using, but I haven't done an extraordinary look or something that I thought was going to be nice to take a picture of. I did wear this palette for my birthday party with my friends, but it was a really simple look because I was in a rush. So I used these three shades right here and triple fudge. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Let me take out the two faced chocolate bar. So this is my wheel and I will choose a palette. NYX Full Throttle Quartz, which will be kind of nice. I, I really want to play around it with those quartz, so let me go get them. I have put both of them into one category because there's, there's only eight shadows, so maybe I can create a look with each and then show you guys in a few weeks. So I think that will be good. Let me go get them. So these are the two palettes that I have for the NYX Full Throttle. I don't know if I'm going to say that right uh, from that collection. These were the two that inspired me the most or that spoke to me the most, if I think you say that. I really wanted the other quartz in this collection, but you know, you have too much eyeshadow, you can't justify more eyeshadow, you know. But this is a really, really nice formula. I really, really love it. Um, so yeah. These are the two quartz, so a more cool tone one and a more warm toned. I really, really like these, so I'm excited to uh, be wearing these more. 
I do think I have some kind of tutorial look, get ready with me, something with these two. Um, so I'll try to find that on my channel and link it down below. But yeah, I'm excited to be playing around with these a little bit more and let you guys know what I think and stuff like that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below if you haven't already and let me know about the Palabingo thing and I hope you are excited to see some looks with these two small cords. Maybe I can do a Palabingo on these, let me know. I know I have talked a lot about Palabingo in this video, I'm sorry, but I really really like that concept of a video. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed anyways, even though it was kind of chatty. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm in a chatty mood, apparently. So, yeah, until my next video, I hope you are going to take care. Bye.